I mean, in, in the automotive design business, usually our products life cycles are a little bit longer and, and it takes a long time to develop new uh, vehicles. So there are our perspective on, on society and society's needs have to be quite into the future. So when we actually set out to, to create the new design direction for what's now become the new range of the Volvo family, uh, the iPhone was an unknown. Um, so we, we had to have in mind the kind of world into which this truck would, would be launched. And also, uh, being leaders in the industry, we know that we can influence the direction and the thinking a lot. And that's what we're doing. Using images and image boards is the usual method in, in design. Uh, and when working with trucks, it's especially important because we can then capture the essence of what we're trying to achieve. An image like this where it's a very, very high-tech uh, boat, uh, which is obviously extremely powerful, but look at it, it's very refined and very elegant. Uh, all of this is an inspiration. The biggest strength of this new design is the, um, the very strong family identity across the entire range from the FH down to the FE and, and FL. Moving the iron mark uh, up to below the windscreen was a way of symbolizing that Volvo is about the truck as a whole and not just about the fantastic powertrains and engines. The grille is designed to be very iconic so that it's uh, highly visible from, uh, from a distance. And the uh, very distinct uh, V-shapes in the daytime running lamps is really symbolizing Volvo's commitment to safety. But they're also a family of personalities. Uh, they each have their different uh, character depending on the applications for which they're used. So the strength really lies in the differences. The Volvo FL and the new Volvo FE are a little bit special because, I mean, th these are the trucks that are closest to people like you and me. You know, these are the trucks that come to our homes uh, in the morning, take away the garbage or brings the post. So these uh, have to be considered from that angle where it's in close proximity with common people. Volvo FMX is our, one of our favorites. It's, it's a truck that has to express its robustness, its toughness. But at the same time, we have to remember that the FMX also is used in cities and in the middle of towns during constructions and so on. Perhaps this is a good image which describes the personality that we're looking for, uh, because uh, 007 is a, is, a, is a character who looks good in a tuxedo, but at the same time, uh, as in this image here, quite badly beaten up. If you look at the new generation of these trucks, I mean, the biggest, uh, the biggest thing you would notice is, is the larger front grills, and they're there for a reason. They're there because the Euro 6 engines, which are a requirement for low emissions, need more air. And therefore, the, the, very, the mere fact that the, the truck has become more efficient has, has sort of dictated the character of the design. So when we gather all the inspiration, we've got up, we're all fired up, we kind of know what we, we want to get out of this truck. Um, yeah, usually the designers are so skilled that it, it sort of comes out, you know. Uh, taking it from sketch to finish usually means uh, a lot of uh, compromise in a way because you've got to then incorporate all the technical requirements, the manufacturing requirements. So once you know what we are striving for, you've got the, you've got the vision, then trying to get that through all these different filters and uh, achieving something at the other end which still carries that vision, that is a skill that comes through years of practice and experience. <laughs>